Today we are learning how to finish up our gorgeous granny square blanket. If you haven't seen part one, we will link below to that. You'll learn how to make the actual granny square. And today I'm gonna to be showing you a reversible stretchy stitch so you can seam all of your motifs together. So to get started joining your squares, you're gonna to wanna to lay them out in the order that you want your final blanket to appear. So I have four granny squares here today and I have gone ahead and put little stitch markers in each of the corners which just helps to see when you get to that point. These are all right sides up, and I'm gonna start by grabbing these two with wrong sides together. So you're gonna find the corner stitch of your front piece and just join your new yarn with a slip stitch and chain two. Now we're gonna work a half double crochet through this corner and the corner on the back piece. So start with the yarn over, insert into that same corner stitch on your front piece and into the corner stitch on your back piece and complete your half double crochet. Now we're gonna chain one, and we're gonna skip the next stitch, and we're gonna work a single crochet into the next stitch. So insert your hook into that next stitch after you've skipped one, hop to the back, also skip one on the back, and insert your hook into the next stitch, and just work a single crochet. Now we're gonna repeat across our side chain two, then you're gonna skip two, and then single crochet into the next stitch. So skip two on the front, insert your hook, open up and look at the back, skip two on the back, insert your hook, and just work your single crochet. Again, chain two, and skip two, skip two on the front and insert your hook, skip two on the back and insert your hook into the next one and single crochet them together. And continue repeating that all the way down. Chain two, skip two, single crochet. So skip, 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 single crochet, chain two, skip, skip, single crochet, skip, skip, complete your single crochet all the way down. So the number of single crochets that you're skipping is how many chains you're working. So this is gonna make a nice stretchy join. Chain two, skip two, skip two, skip two, boop. And when you get down to this other corner, we're gonna mirror what we did on the first corner. So chain one, skip one, so skip that next stitch. And into this final corner stitch, you're gonna work a half double crochet. So yarn over, insert into the corner stitch on the front Skip one on the back and insert also into that corner stitch on the back and then complete your half double crochet. And then to form a little bridge, because we're going to join the next two pieces, just chain two. Here's what you should have so far. So the right sides are facing up and the little chains are running on top and you can see it's nice and stretchy. Now we're going to continue on doing the exact same thing on these two pieces. So I've picked up my next two pieces and we're going to work a half double crochet into these corner stitches. And you can see how it makes it a little bit easier if you've marked them with those stitch markers. That way you're not struggling to find the corners. So complete your half double crochet, boop, and then repeat what you did on the other side. So chain one, skip the next stitch and work a single crochet into the next stitch. Skip one on the back, same thing, single crochet. Just like we did before. And then repeat down, chain two, skip two, and single crochet. And repeat that all the way down to the other corner. And when you get down to the end, you're gonna chain one and finish off with a little half double crochet into the corner stitches, just like before. So here's what I have so far, and your seam will be going all the way down your blanket, and you're gonna complete that for all the seams going that same direction. Once you've completed all of your seams going that direction, we're going to turn, flip our piece, so that the wrong sides are facing up, and we're going to put the right sides together and do our seams on the back side all the way down like so. So we're gonna do the same thing that we did on the other seam. Go ahead and insert your hook into that top piece, pull up your yarn, nice little join there, and start with a chain two. Now you're gonna work your half double crochet across both corners. So yarn over, insert into that same corner just like before, insert into the back corner, and finish off your half double crochet. And then repeat what you did on the other seam. So chain one, skip one, and it's gonna look, look a little different because your right sides are together now. Skip one, 
and work your single crochet and then repeat across till you get to that next little corner, chain two, skip two, single crochet. And we, when you get down to the end, we're going to repeat what we did before. So chain one and you're going to skip that next stitch and you're going to work a half double crochet into that corner stitch. So yarn over, insert into the corner and into the corner on the back and complete your half double crochet. Then chain two to form your little bridge and go ahead and hop on over. Half double crochet into the corner on this piece. So there's this corner and the back piece as well. Complete your half double crochet and then chain one, skip one, single crochet, chain two, skip two, single crochet all the way across just like you did before. When you get down to the end, you're going to finish off with a chain one and you're going to work your half double crochet into the corner stitch of each of your pieces. So you can see this is the front side of our piece. So all of our seams running this direction will be showing on the front, nice and stretchy. And then when you flip it to the back, all of these opposite perpendicular seams will be showing on the back, also nice and stretchy. And there you go, a simple, stretchy, reversible seam that you can use to join all of your motifs or just wherever you need a stretchy seam. So thank you so much, I hope that was helpful and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> make me wheeze like an old coffer. Are you just wanting to go get that package and you can't rest until you do? You can make it. <sighs> <laughs> Because honestly, it is one of the prettiest ones I have ever seen. Stunning! 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 It is absolutely stunning. Stunning! <laughs> this new method I'm going to show you of how to work a granny square is fabulous because the join, this new method of how to work a granny square is fabulous because the start and beginning of the round, this new method of how to work a granny square is. <laughs> There's people over here that want to hear about it as well. <laughs> it's the ghosts of Christmas past. See you next time. Bye bye.